Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to another Digital's Mind video. <clears throat> um, it's been a little while since I've done one, so I thought I would actually kind of get back to it since things have settled down uh, in my neck of the woods, so to speak. Uh, this one was, actually came from an end user at work. They wanted to know how to change the font uh, that you can see here that's blue. They wanted to change it to black, and they like the old school kind of text look. And I never actually had to d done that before. Um, I always liked kind of the way the colors were in Outlook. 2013 so I was like eh, let me go check it out let me see if you can do it and you can it's actually kind of really simple it's like so simple I was like wow really it was that simple uh, so what you do is you go up to the uh, view tab up here and then you go over to view settings and under view settings you go to conditional formatting and just click on the font and if you want to change the font or just the color you can do either or or both select the font you want to use I actually kind of like this one here uh, and uh, you know I'll change say we'll change it to black you just say OK, OK, and then it changes it. That's how you do it. It makes kind of a, a cool little look, and you can actually go on there and create kind of some cool colors. Uh, the neat thing about this is, though, is, and what I actually like about doing it this way, uh, I don't change the color, but I mean, I actually do change the font, is after you click on the mail that's been read, uh, mine's set for two seconds to read. Uh, so the Outlook assumes after two seconds of highlighting it, it's red. Uh, it goes back to the standard font. And it actually kind of allows me to look in my uh, inbox real quick and see what hasn't been read. Uh, and then, you, of course, you can go up here and do all different kinds of sorts and stuff like that over here. You can do date and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I, you know, I kind of like it. And um, I showed them how to do it, and they were actually, uh, they've been playing around there for half a day or so. So um, anyway, that, so that, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. And obviously, to change it back, you just reverse it. Uh, go to back to conditional formatting. Go to font. Select it back. Go to custom. Uh, the custom here you can't get rid of. This is actually the Microsoft custom font built into Outlook. It's the blue. So uh, you just say OK, 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 and it goes back to where it was. So a uh, cool little trick. Um, play around with it. See if you like it or not. Just leave it the way it is. All right. Later.